Today we are tackling a Roblox Adopt Me cake. I've already got my 5 inch and 7 inch cakes covered and stacked. I have full tutorials to get you up to speed on baking a cake, covering it in ganache and covering it in sugar paste, which are always linked in the description box below. I've panelled the sides of the pink one as we're going to be adding grass to the top of it. I've just rolled out a piece big enough to drape over and I'm just smoothing out some of the pleats from the top edge. Then take your scalpel and cut a wavy pattern around the top. You can leave it as it is if you like, but I'm just sharpening that top edge with my smoothers. I'm then going to add grass to the ledge below by rolling out a strip and doing the same wavy edges. Just buff off any icing sugar with your palm. Then cover the board in the exact same colour using the toilet seat method, which is also linked below. To make the name, I have traced it onto some greaseproof paper from a Roblox name generator website, and I'm placing it onto some white paste that's got Tylo powder added. Draw around the letters to leave an impression in the paste with the Dresden tool. I'm then going around cutting that impression out with a scalpel. Once you have all your letters, we are backing them onto some hot pink paste, again with Tylo powder added to make it easier to cut. The Tylo powder makes the paste less likely to stretch out of shape. Place these on a foam mat just to harden up a little and it makes them easier to handle. For the ice creams I'm using real wafer cones and we just need to trim this down so it will lay flat against the cake. It's flat mostly up the cone until we get to this bigger top part so you just want to carefully slice it off with a scalpel until you can lay it pretty much flat. Add a little water to the backs of your names and stick them to the front with water. It will aid you on where to place the cones. A little melted ganache will hold your ice cream cones in place. You just want to gently wiggle and press the cone into your sugar paste and hold it just until the ganache takes over. For the characters, I'm making the birthday girls Roblox avatars, which can come in lots of different outfits and hairstyles. The body shapes are all usually the same though, starting with a sausage of paste rolled onto a dampened kebab stick. Flatten it and trim the paste into a sharp rectangle using a long knife and your smoother to keep the edges straight. Then mark in where the knee bend is with a scalpel and cut the leg to size. Slide this down into the top of the cake and make another one at the side of it. The feet are made with just a ball of paste cut in half to make little semicircles and stuck to the front. As this character is wearing a puffy skirt, we're going to be using a half polystyrene ball. Just slide this down the kebab stick into place and add a little block of paste for the torso. Gently push a cocktail stick down the centre to hold the head. For the skirt detail, I have a cutter that creates these bumpy edges. A circle or oval will do, or even a straight one, but I've just cut along the humps to make a string which I'm placing at the very bottom of the polystyrene ball. I'm then covering it over with this circle of pink paste which I've cut a small hole from the centre and a slit to be able to wrap it around the waist.
Smooth all the joints and then take a Dresden tool to mark in long pleats with smaller ones in between them. Dampen the torso and wrap it in the same pink paste, chopping the excess from the top and cutting out a scooped neckline. Don't worry too much how the back looks as it will mostly be covered in hair. I'm then following the details of this specific outfit which have white stripes up the front. Arms are made in a similar way to the legs but without the stick and I'm cutting the top at an angle so I can stick it against the body. Just rest the bottom of the arm on the skirt for support. The hands are small strips curled round into a C shape and pressed onto the ends of the arm. The neck is a small flesh disc threaded down the cocktail stick. For sleeves, I'm using a small semicircle of the same pink to cover the tops of the arms. The head is a slightly flattened piece of flesh fondant and all the details are hand painted on. I'm using white dust mixed with water for the eyes and black gel colour for the mouth, nose and eyelashes. I'll leave everything I've used in the description box below. Just follow your character's features. These ones have a rainbow flag under the eye and rainbow eyeshadow. This can also be a really good option if you're not too confident with modelling, as you don't have to make any noses or eyes, they're all just painted on. Push the head down onto the neck and dampen the head ready for hair. This character has long pink hair so I've cut an arch shape which I'm sticking to the back and then pulling the excess to a point on the top of the head. Snip this point off with scissors and smooth down the cuts. I'm then just taking various sizes of spiked paste and layering this down the front for hair. This character also has a small unicorn horn, which are two pale yellow spikes rolled together and cut to the right size. Place this on top and pair it with pink and white blossom flowers. I've just used a plunger cutter for these. The other character was made in exactly the same way, but instead of a polystyrene ball for the skirt, it's just a rectangle of paste for the hips. This outfit was entirely painted on, such as the pink and blue boots, and the play suit was just painted in gels mixed with white dust and water. The hair down the back was just the same, but with different shaped spikes coming down the front. Then mix up some teal buttercream and pipe on the tops of the ice creams. This is a Wilton 1M tip, which is super popular for cupcakes. Whilst the buttercream is still soft, I'm placing in two cherry shapes made from sugar paste and lots of pastel coloured sprinkles. Finally, topping with tiny white sprinkles and black stamens for the cherry stalks. The Adopt Me game has cute chubby animals and the ones I was making was the penguin and unicorn. The penguin is a very basic shape and it just has little flippers on either side of the body. The beak is just a small piece of yellow paste added to the front and cut in half with a scalpel. Please excuse my fingers, they are now full of black paste and teal airbrush colour. The characters have very large black eyes. Stick your penguin into position and add very simple blobs to the front for feet. The girls had gold coloured animals, which I'm sure are very special in the game, so I'm just painting on my favourite gold paint by Faye, which I've mixed with lemon extract. The unicorn is also very basic, a lump for the body and one for the head, with two small triangles for ears. 
This is fully gold with black eyes and has blue sugar paste spikes for the horn, mane and tail. For the trees, I'm going lightweight with these polystyrene eggs. I always pick these up at Easter where I can, but you can always just use a ball too. Push the egg or ball inside a piece of green paste that's of similar size and push the paste around fully encasing it. Roll it between your hands to get rid of any seams and slowly rub a point between your palms until you're left with this. Insert a kebab stick up into the base and feel free to mark in some straight lines on the trees with a Dresden tool to add that little bit of Roblox geometry. Push these around your cake into the ledges and the one on the base I have actually stuck to the side of the cake just using a cocktail stick since it won't stick into the board. I'm now adding half spheres of paste in green as bushes and covering the trunks of the trees with strips of brown paste. Fill in any little gaps with more teal mini swirls of buttercream and sprinkles and for that extra girly finish you can't go wrong with hearts. Just because we're extra we are adding a few squirts of our glitter pump to make it sparkle. And that's it, a cute girly Roblox cake for any Adopt Me fan. For your characters, just follow the basic shapes and change the outfits to suit, as well as the simple animals, which is a great way to customise the cake to the birthday girl or boy. Hope you enjoyed this one. Please do tag me over on Instagram if you do make anything from the tutorials at Cherry Cake Co. And I'll see you again next week. Bye guys.